Forces of Magnetism, Week 8. Day 1. We have been learning all about forces, including magnetism and electricity. This week, we will use our knowledge to learn how compasses work and how they help people in their everyday lives. But first, let's watch a quick video about compasses and how they work. You have to tell me to duck before you do that. Dear Tim and Moby, how does a compass work? From Henry. Compasses are pretty cool. Pretty much wherever you are on Earth, a compass points north. Compasses can help you navigate. Sailors rely on them all the time. Once you know what direction north is, all the other directions fall into place. Right now, we need to be going northwest. I think we're a little off course. <laughs> A compass is a really simple tool. It has a small needle made of iron or steel. The needle is actually a magnet with a north pole and a south pole, and it's balanced on a smooth pivot so that it can swing around freely. Wherever the north pole is pointing, that's north. It works because Earth is really a giant magnet. It produces a magnetic field, an invisible area of force that extends all around it. That field makes a compass's needle swing into a north-south position. Hey, good question. With magnets, opposite poles attract and like poles repel each other. So how come the north pole of the compass's needle points north? As it turns out, the Earth's magnetic field is flipped. Magnetic south is in the geographic north, and vice versa. It's not as crazy as it sounds. The compass is a very old invention. It was developed before people had any idea how it really worked. They just knew that one end of the magnetized needle would always point north. So naturally, people began referring to the opposite ends of all magnets as north and south. Really though, they could have called it anything. A and B, plus and minus, whatever. Oh yeah, that's another little wrinkle. The magnetic poles are slightly offset from the geographic poles. That's because Earth's magnetic field doesn't run exactly along its rotational axis. The closer you get to the poles, the more this difference matters. If you're really far north, the compass may actually point you east, west, or even south. But the rest of us can still use a compass to get where we're going. We just have to account for the magnetic variation. That's the difference between a compass needle's north and true or geographic north. Let's see, from here, the variation is about 5 degrees west. In other words, the needle is pointing 5 degrees west of true north. So we just need to adjust our compass 5 degrees to the east. And then adjust our navigation until we're pointing the right way. You're too heavy, and you're not magnetic. You are magnetic? <laughs> Uh, duck. Our first vocabulary word is axis. A straight line that serves as the unmoving center about which a body or figure turns. A synonym for axis is hinge. The earth is tilted on an axis. This line right here is the axis. Day and night. But it is the tilt of the Earth's axis that will help us understand the seasons. It is tilted at an angle of 23.4 degrees, and the Earth takes one year to orbit the Sun. Different parts of the Earth are tilted towards the Sun as it orbits. In winter, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. This means fewer hours each day are spent in daylight. In summer, the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. This means more hours each day are spent in daylight. Our next word is magnetic field. A magnetic field is the area around a magnet. The area in which there is a magnetic force. 
Magnets are objects that produce an area of magnetic force called a magnetic field. If a paperclip was inside a magnet, a magnetic field, what would happen? If a paperclip was inside of a magnet's magnetic field, it would. Hmm. Our next word is direction. A direction is the course along which someone or something moves, or a path. The Earth's magnetic poles are in the general direction of the planet's geographical poles. What does it mean if someone is giving directions? Is there more than one meaning? If someone is giving directions, it means they are. Hmm. An example of someone giving directions. They're telling you not to do something. They're giving you directions. Also directions like north, south, east, and west. This is different than a teacher giving you directions. Or you giving directions to how to get to your house. North, south, east, or west. Which direction do you like the best? North, south, east, or west. Which direction do you like the best? It's going north. North, north. It's going south. South. It's going north and south and east. east. It's going north. North. It's going south. South. It's going north and south and west. 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 Four cardinal directions that I know. North, south, east, and west we go. Or mix them all up, then go fast, not slow, to the sunshine or the snow. Our next word is react. React. To act in a certain way because of something that happened. A magnet also reacts to another magnet when they are close enough to each other. How would you react if someone told you that you look nice today? I would react by, hmm. How do you think a magnet reacts to another magnet? What would that look like? How would that be different than a person reacting? How would it be similar? Great, so I'm going to show you some examples of kids reacting. Mm. Yes, I love these things. This is going to be a try not to ah challenge. Like try not, like when you, when you see something cute, you can't go ah. I never ah. Uh, I have no so. Here are the rules. We're going to show you cute videos and you can't say ah and you can't smile. Come on! They were little goats! In sweaters! This is so hard. Please send help. Is that a tiger? So tiny. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Not even cute. That's a, just a baby dancing, which it is not cute. He knows the stuff. Of everything that goes on. I just smiled, didn't I? Got a real. That's a big yawn. Got a real. Ah 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 ah! I gotta win! I gotta win! Mom says they're ugly, but they're so cute. At first it was cute, but then I'm like, okay, is that all they're gonna do? I'm okay, I'm just going insane because these are too cute. That was actually pretty easy because, like, they weren't really doing anything, they were just sitting there. You are the worst! No, did I? Ugh, it's so cute, though! That's puppy heaven. I'm struggling! Why do you- Man. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! And in me. Help me, it's so cute! Oh, you got This one is probably the best. You got friends! You can't do this to me. That's not fair. 
Wow, she has a good voice. Oh, when that girl starts singing, I just can't hold it. All right, so today we're going to be reading The Magnetic Fields and the Magnetic Compass. As we read, keep the following question in your mind. How do compasses work? And how do they help people in their everyday lives? What's this, Nuna? You always get a prize in the box. This looks like a little compass. What's a compass? It shows you which way is north. Is north up or down? Um, Apu, I think we need our globe. Here you go. There are four main directions you can travel. North, south, east, and west. The compass has these same points. I see north, south, east, and west. But how does the arrow work? It seems to just spin around. Actually, it's always trying to point north. Because it wants to? Because the Earth has a magnetic field. And I bet there's a magnet in the compass needle. Right. It has the opposite polarity. So the arrow is always pulled toward the beginning of the magnetic field in the North Pole. So, if you have a compass, you always know where north is. And can figure out east, south, and west. And never get lost. I don't buy it. I'm with the dog. Birds don't have a compass when they fly south for the winter. They can navigate by the stars. Or instinct. But a compass is very handy for people. Apu, let's show them. You go and hide due north. And try and find me. Lead the way, Nina. Okay. Which way is north? This way. The arrow is turning west. Too far. It's pointing more east now. Back the other way. Still heading north. The arrow is right on it. Whoa! Whoa. What now? A river is running through our game. If only I could command a river to move. We'll have to go around. But how can we keep our straight line north to Apu? We'll get off track and never find him. There's a bridge a little way up. That's it. We can head east to the bridge, counting our steps. Cross the bridge, then count our steps going back west. Brilliant. I'll pretend I thought of it. One, two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Now let's cross the bridge. Then do twenty-five steps back west. One, two, three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay. Apu should be due north from here. Northward to Apu. Found me! I hereby declare that a compass works.